Welcome back to my channel, Life After Work. Uh, sorry it's been so long since I've posted, and that's assuming I can even get this posted. I've got several videos I've done, but I haven't been able to upload them. They time out on me, and they're not, I mean, they're not even as big as that first one I put out. So, uh, I've gone back through all the YouTube uh, suggestions on what to do, and I'm going to try them all. Uh, I have about, I've got three computers and a pad that are all wireless in my house and one of the recommendations was to hardwire one of them and see if that would help I've got one of the fastest systems you can have in the US uh, through my IP provider uh, he download or they download it 60 Mbps which is extremely fast and I've tested it and it's really is delivering that so anyway uh, I'll keep working till I get one to post. The first one went super easy, so I don't understand. Anyway, um, I'm going to use this as just a sample, again, to try to upload, see if, if what I'm doing works. Uh, I thought I would take a few minutes just to let you understand what this first video is, th this video is going to be like. I my half of the garage was my half of the garage my wife's half was hers and her half was a little bigger than my half so we had to make room for a place for me our garage is the perfect place i'd already replaced the front door uh, with a fully insulated uh, panel and the upper part of it with lights or with windows in it for light to come in. I'd already replaced the back door which is half glass and lets light in but it's a fully insulated door. The walls, the ceiling, everything else are insulated. This wall behind me is actually, if the garage wasn't attached, that would be an outside wall so it's it's always going to be insulated. But Somebody insulated the roof and the other walls are all insulated and I guess that was done when the house was built and that's been 30 years ago I don't know 35 years ago uh, Last winter I had this setup done and worked out here During the coldest part of the winter when it got down into the the teens in Fahrenheit um, and Quite frankly three snows two snows three snows and the temperature in here just running one little floor here uh, never got below 50 now when you're modeling you got to worry about paint drying you've got to worry about glue setting up so that would be a problem except that that it didn't get down that cold but a few times it stayed in the 60s Fahrenheit so I find that to be comfortable. This summer when it got up to close to 100 degrees out inside the garage, it it was always 15 to 20 degrees cooler without anything but a fan. Uh, so that, that worked really well. And if I look at the entire 12 month period, that was probably only a month to six weeks that I probably didn't want to work out here, which isn't too bad. I mean, beggars can't be choosers. So anyway, my wife has her parking space, and I get my half of the studio here. Now, I call it a studio. It's Studio A. This is my uh, home central for all my hobbies. I've got several... Uh, models that I want to work on and they're big they take a long time to do I've got all my trains and quite frankly I, I, locomotives tenders alone I could justify building a, a display case for it trouble is I don't have a place for a display case so anyway I'll, I'm gonna work something out there I'm not finished with my work table and that's where the camera's sitting right now um, and I'll, I'll show you in just a little bit how I developed it.
but it's all modular. It can all be moved uh, very easily, taken apart, and it organizes my uh, tools better than they were because I don't have a big shop anymore or anything like that so I just my tools were shoved in these cabinets and uh, you know I wanted them where I could have easy access so anyway I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and plug this onto the front of a slideshow and some videos that I made a year ago and uh, unfortunately my health hadn't been good if it doesn't work the first time or the second time, I'll be lucky if I can get to a third try before I'm kind of laid up for a while. So at any rate, uh, let me show you a few more things, and then I'll see if I can't get this all put back together. Welcome to my new channel, Life After Work. My name is Solomon, and no, that's not me. That's uh, Sonny. He'll probably be hanging around once in a while. Yeah, he likes a good cold concrete floor. The subject that I'm going to have for my videos, it'll be filmed right over here. I'm going to call it Studio A. I don't have a B or C, but this is Studio A. Preparing this area is a workshop, a hobby area, hopefully to do some scale modeling for some railroads, different scales for railroads, different kinds of modeling, uh, even some ship modeling because I'm fond of trains and boats. But before I could get started, I had to build all these racks, get the bins off the floor, and cleaned up over in that area so that we can access them, use them. They're full of holiday decorations. I've got my slide sorting. We no longer use slides. It's all digital, so I've been copying slides. And I've generally cleaned things up in here, hung things on the wall, tried to make a garage look a little more homey, get my tools in good order. And basically, that's it. All right, here we are. This is this is what I managed to get done so far. Have it pretty well cleaned up. Just have to put the oak edging on it. Get that around the edge. That's a good protective area. Now, if you look at the bench over here, you can see where I have added that all the way down the top that definitely protects that edge of that uh, melamine coated fiberboard because that board's not very sturdy and even if you look right here you'll see some chips along the edge well that's okay because this is going to be a work table but uh, once I get that piece of oak around it that's going to add an inch and a half uh, additional width to this table it's already eight feet long. It's not uh, a full four feet wide. I took some off one end, but it's pretty close to three feet, uh, three feet, one meter, somewhere in that, in that range. That's a lot of workspace, especially once I get this mess cleaned up, reorganized, spread out to all the appropriate workspaces and I'm kind of looking forward to doing that very soon now I think we're just about there so here we go off and running Okay, what you're looking at right now is the back side of my little hobby center. I ended up, uh, 
I was going to set those cabinets up on top of the work table and then I decided to build that lower section down there. Now nothing is attached. It's all independent. But that lower section gave me an opportunity that I sorely needed, which was to pull all my hand tools out and have them readily available. Plus I've got a place over there for my compressor when I get it uh, get my electrical all fixed out here then I'll probably just leave that where it is have the the hose hooked all the time so I can use it for whatever uh, I've got an airbrush set up so that that'll probably work at any rate I, I was able to to build this unit a piece at a time I didn't build the base sections I'll show you in a in a slideshow what I did but just so you can see it from another vantage point I'll get over here and those lower sections down there they're not attached to anything but they're just standard units you can go to a, a what well, we have Lowe's and Home Depot just big box uh, lumber companies and you can buy those for really cheap about a hundred bucks a piece if you get them on sale drawers are already made the doors are already on I mean all you have to do is set it in place then I got a big old piece of uh, the metal mine coated particle board for a top and gradually built this thing up to where you see it now but I did it a section at a time and it's all basic carpentry I made a, most of it out of scrap wood uh, not scrap as such but wood from projects that didn't get used and I still have more of that well I'm gonna add more shelves in these because I've got fully adjustable shelves and continue to grow into this so at any rate this is my workspace I even was able to reclaim some of the the, the drawers and cabinetry over on this other side that for all practical purposes I didn't have any real estate in there I worked out of town for too many years and my wife can grow into whatever space we have and fit perfectly so at any rate we were able to go through everything clean out a lot of stuff and I got some real estate back just for me but this is a very handy setup in that everything that I need is in that area and everything that my wife and I need jointly are stored in these bins most of it is Christmas decorations and yes we do a lot of decorating at Christmas so I'm looking forward to that I'm kind of getting into the season now but I had to I had to build all these racks because when you stack these bins you know it's it's hard to get to them these slide out like drawers so you just pull them out open them up those pieces of paper on the front of it I'm a little behind I was I wrote a computer program to put all of that in it so we would know which bins had what so I haven't put those all in yet so anyway I'm uh, I'm looking forward to to start getting some some better uploads we're right here in fall we just had a big rain the uh, leaves are falling off the trees uh, it's chilly out but it's comfortable today uh, matter of fact today it's up into the 60s Fahrenheit so it's all looking good looking a lot like fall weather and I'm I'm just gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna go see if I can't get this all hooked up